We are back, Church on the Block. Real talk about hip hop, the church and the streets, man. Now I know we've been talking to these great brothers, preachers in disguise. If you knew, you, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you don't know, you better know, right? And being able to grab their stuff is still online now. You can get it. Um, but we are here today talking about real talk about hip hop, the church and the streets, speaking to this legendary artist. And we've been talking to them about the history and how each individual artist threw down and how they came into the group. Now we want to see the bars that they got. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a new kind of rapper. Don't none of my mesh rhyme. So, you know, I I, I, I don't crush so many people without, you know, no no rhyming at all. Just career is gone. So y'all heard enough about me. But no. <laughs> y'all want to spit something? Spit, spit, spit a hot eight bars each and, 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 and give the people what they want. Give the people some real live on the set, in the studio bars. Go for it. <laughs> Yo. Faith, I can hear you talk that. When you're going to walk that, live that. Give back your life to God. Your life is odd. Idolatry, simple and plain. Seeking the name. Jesus, spitting for fame. Seeking the game. You're looking the same as the world be. Not your idol, but your inner man. You're looking worldly. Saying, Ace, don't judge me. Yo, sin is ugly. What I'm saying isn't popular, but the kids won't plug me, yo. It's the basic. We speak truth, you face it. We know, we go, we ego, replace it. You focus, lace this. I focus God's graces. You know, if you turn from the truth, you'll have to hate this. Joshua 3, 4. We, the men of war, go round the city wall. Then watch the city fall. The industry door kicked in like we the law. Some seeking applause, but we seeking the law. Rap veterans, mm. the gospel. We rep like apostles. Environments hostile. Deep roots, we will rock you. So what's the real black? Elements of hip-hop, the real fact. Worship the Lord. and hey, yo, feel that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, hell, man, you feel the perpetual inhales and exhales to tip the scale and lift the veil. See me put the side of messed it up. Oh, hell. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love it. Let me get that right again. Let me get that. Uh, oh, hell, uh. man, you will the perpetual inhales and exhales to tip the scale and lift the veil. See celestial with the piney yell, like mm -hmm. a fraction, we all tiny yell, and fraction like a kaleidoscope. Gathering balance and isotopes with hope to be twice as dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, the dopamine, mix it with the melatonin, oxytocin, sasitocin. Now we toast him with a cocktail that rock tail. The most. <laughs> Ooh, I keep going. I'm going. I'm, 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 I'm messing up. I'm, I'm, it's too early. It's too early. Yeah. I'm messing up. Pharmaceutical that you can go to the farm is you. So who's informing you? Release the old farm and gain the new. And so we can see what God is really going to do. I'm going to leave it alone because I'm messing up. I'm messing up. <laughs> What's up, What's Rough Nate? Follow me, follow me while I take you to a higher plateau. My patio is fat, so come back. I ease and please you like a Jamaican vacation, breaking and taking you from the wayside of sin. So sensational, face to face with the grace, the grace, all the people, all the people in the place. I know you can't resist this. Pump your fist. The twist, the lime is back to show and prove that I don't like knacks so move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Man, the the the, the style y'all bring, man, is so. I mean, it's intellectual, it's conviction, it's in your face. I mean, it's a plethora of stuff that just hits, man. It's like, like it's, but it's like water to me. It's like nutrients from from you know some some music that's out there. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you know I've, I've been doing this work for like 34 years, right, with young people, hip hop, and everything else like that. And so when it comes to like what I need to feed my soul, if it's not out there with with Christ-centered MCs, I got to find it somewhere. We got KRS-One coming tomorrow. KRS-One is coming tomorrow to the firehouse. Spitting his whole stop. Right, stop. stop. He's in Detroit yesterday, um, and he's coming to wow. Chicago. Um, Chub Rocks, Special Ed. I was on the phone last yeah. night with, with, with the other day with MC Light. Um, Cause they're trying to say we want to bring the stop the violence movement back. We want to start with Chicago and then go to other places. But I'm saying, I desire MCs with what you're bringing, uh, uh, <clears throat> with the spiritual uh, what I call integration, right? To awaken yes. a nation to where there is like oh, that was a bar. That was some bars right there. Oh. <laughs> okay, you might have a place. <laughs> Come out of nowhere, but not. But what? So when when you when you look at the words and the and the lyrical way you're bringing it, like what is it? What what what's the filter beforehand? What or what's the people around? What is it that you? 
like I see this and, I'm, and I see this is what I want to try to change because because you do it in such a dynamic, unique way, different way, man, that um, this feeds the soul. Right. Right. In the context of, um, of where, where it's coming from. And y'all got a different style, different way. You, it's just so I don't know. I don't know what group to even compare it to. You know what I'm saying? Well, and I appreciate I appreciate that because I think that this this representation of preachers in disguise with uh, us three it, yeah. it there's we come from that aspect in that era of do you don't sound like anybody else don't 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 do what they do even though we appreciate what they do right right but we're right. from that era where you have to create your own lane if you will so that's that's the secular portion of it the, the, the gospel aspect of it, it comes out of our personal experience. So my personal experience is like street street. Yeah. Like yeah. so yeah. when I battle yeah. rap, when I battle rap in the street back in the day, it was like take no prisoners. So when right. I represent ours as far as Christ is concerned, it's the yeah. same mindset. So my writing right. is Take no prisoners is so far as what I have to say, even if it offends you. Oh, I'm sorry. This is battle rap. <laughs> you know, like the battle rap that I'm coming back, the resurgence. Some of the things I'm hearing these guys say, I'm like, ooh, that, ooh, ooh. Right. And I'm like, right, I want people to get that same feeling when it comes to my faith and how God comes. It's like, don't yeah. play with this. It's not yeah. something to play with. Yeah. yeah that's I, how that. I would say as far as like what I love and, and a lot of my writing style uh, and I, and I, I, I started like, I'm a mystic. I'm a hip hop mystic. I'm a hip hop theologian. I love theology. I love uh, the mystery of the cross. Right. Yeah, and so yeah. my whole goal and heart is to pull people into the mystery. And so in the same sense where it's conviction where see people yeah. are left with conviction. And that's what I love what Ace brings to the table is he brings that conviction where it's like, I chop it and just put it on the plate. It's there, it's there. You just going, you, you, you going to eat it because it's there. Yeah. In the same sense, I love to bring forth that sense of that mister, mysterious. Uh, Paul talks about this idea that we are, 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 are and pulled to hold on to the mystery and actually hold the mystery intention. We don't even have the full, complete understanding of it, but we just hold in it and just just rest in it, just still ourselves in it, and it invades us and evades us. It comes in yeah. and then it reflects itself out. And so some of my rhymes are type of rhymes is like, you know, what is he saying? Yeah, because if you sit with it four or five days, it's not just what is he saying. Now, all of a sudden, it's saying stuff to you because that's yeah. my experience with the word of God. It's not just that I read the word. The word reads me. Right. You follow what I'm saying? It yeah. reads yeah. me. It, it, it knows me. The word, yeah. not just these page, these words on the page, but the right. actual living rhema presence of God reads and knows me. And as I breathe it in, all of a sudden, it's just like, oh, oh, did not our hearts burn within us? The whole yeah. time he's climbing, right. something is connected. That's what my heart is about and I'm going to do. Right. So I, I love to bring forth mystery. My man, Ace, he loves to bring forth that conviction. And I think, yeah. Jay, if you can more about it than what you bring. So <laughs> what I do, man, I they give me a beat and they give me a theme and I mm. listen to the beat and whatever's in me comes out. Uh, right. You know, Saying in the word or read, but it just comes out, and uh, I that's that's what I do, man. I I don't like these two dudes are philosophical rhymers to me. Um, <laughs> they, they just are, man. They they they, you know, they're preachers. I mean, I'm a preacher too, but they they pastor churches. They speak to people. I you know I I, I vibe off of them too. That's why I think our relationship is so good. Uh, they instruct me. They tell me what yeah. they want me to do. You know, I pray about it. I do it, and God, that whatever's in me flows true, out of me. True, and true, and true. and you know, sometimes I don't like to do freestyles because sometimes some of the stuff in me it isn't all Christ. And <laughs> it has a tendency to come out when I get in the mood. So we'll talk about that in the next segment. But that's really pretty much what yeah. it is. That's, that's the chemistry, though. It's that's true. the chemistry. The aspect of the, the conviction. Right. The aspect of deeper for us and 
God putting us together this way. Um, right. When you think a little bit about our history, you know, Jay, when, when he left the group, I, I came in and, you know, in, in a natural sense, me and him shouldn't really have a good relationship, but we have a great relationship. Yeah. We have a great relationship with Fred. He's the, the, the congeal for all of us. And what we do and the opportunities now in the present of what we do, man, it, it's that there's some groups that just have a chemistry. Yeah. yeah. And I think that what we got right now is so far as this representation of PID is a great chemistry to feed off of each other, to learn from each other <laughs> and not have to feel, you know, our, com our competitiveness is pushing, it pushes Fred to go even deeper. So I, I sit there and say, what the heck did he just say? When I, when I begin to listen, I'm like, wow. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? And and if yeah. I'm doing, and I know people are going to do that, which yeah. is a great representation of the group as a whole saying, we don't fit into anybody's, oh, compare them to. God has given yeah. us our own lane. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the reality I think ultimately music is is a conversation. I think ultimately mm -hmm. music is a deep, deep, spiritual, heavenly conversation. Mm -hmm. Ain't it funny that somebody can have Alzheimer's and they'll hear a song that they heard from 16 years old and they remember <laughs> every lyric. Like they remember where they was at when they first heard that song, you know, so it right. goes so, so deep within. And it's a conversation that's a perpetual conversation. So right. in a sense, you know, <laughs> what, 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 you know, somebody way back in the day, what Ray Charles was saying, the next generation picked it up and said it even deeper. And it went from, yeah. you know, Ray to Stevie and what Stevie was saying, then it went even deeper. And so it goes on and on and on. And many people kind of get in on the lane. They get in right. maybe even sounding or reflecting somebody. But once again, we come from that lineage where it's like, uh, I, I used a quote from Miles Davis yesterday. Miles Davis mm. said this in the quote, he said, it takes a long time to start to sound like yourself. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> so he said it takes a long time of playing and practicing because you start sounding like the people that you love, that put you on, that kind of enc encourage you to come into the game, right? But then all of a sudden, what you start developing is you develop your own voice. You develop your own style. And, and these guys are accomplished uh, uh, lyricists, uh, funky men, musicians. They are com accomplished artisans that have figured out how to create, create and develop their own voice. And they're continuing the ultimate conversation in music. Now, in my opinion, that, that transcends what we would call secular or sacred. Because mm -hmm. there are some songs, yeah. like we know, like you said, you you brought Chubb Rock in, Carrie's One. There are some songs, even in the secular, that we all know, kind of that heart burning was like, ooh, what they said was so, it still stays with me. Yeah. I call right. it like this. Yeah. It's a phrase that raised us all. And, and mm. we got a lot of folks out there from Chuck D to this person to that yeah. person has a phrase that raised us. We was raised <laughs> off those phrases, right? right? Well, in the same Ooh, sense, we come to the table as preachers. Yeah. And if anybody should have an everlasting word, a word that should raise you, a word that should stay with you, that's our call, is to yeah. steward bringing a word that's going to feed people, that's going to be there with them, that's going to raise them up to a higher level. Yeah. See, that's, that's, that's real talk because it takes a lot of... Uh, both and observation of where the culture is at, right? And what the gifts are that you have to bring that awakening in, in, in that face. You know, I work with so many young people and you look on their phone, man, you talk about the music that they listen to. It's an array of different stuff. You know what I'm saying? They got everything on there because of what the phrases are, the, what is feeding them versus an era or two beyond where all you had on there was hip hop. Wasn't nobody going to have no uh, different various artists like, you know, you would get teased. You may have gotten dished. You got so and so on your phone. He got so and so on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. And so being able to being able to tap into the variety of even how people are are hearing and listening, there are cats that are secular that cats uh, are rhyming uh, uh, mystery, right? And and they're rhyming in, in, in deep ways. Like, what are they trying to say? Well, Phil, what happened? Well, Pastor, he trying to. And they, they, they understand where they want and yearn that kind of depth in their own life. <clears throat> when you look at the battle rap cast, you talk about, they cutting you up. It's almost like 
Dude about to get stole on. Dude about to get stole on. Did you just say his mama was in a crack house? Or did you just say his mama was in a crack house? Oh, you about to get you about to get whipped after this show. But it's 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 going visceral. But then when you look at cats rhyming on a secular context of uh, uh, on the radio, right? They trying to well not on the radio, but on the street uh, was Polo G, G Herbo, and Chicago drill rapper. They coming just as hard. But it may not be a battle piece, but they, they saying what they are and who they who what what they're about. So is that kind of yearning from 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 one group of young people, right? You know the the, the mystery of it of it all has to be where you have the culture in one hand, right, uh, and the word of God in the other as MCs for, for Christ to be able to turn uh, that mind. But you can't come with um, you know the churchianity vibe, right? Because uh, you know it'll be oh I knew this was going to happen. You have to come with it in a, in, in a way that that. Uh, is relevant, and, and, and I and I say that not because I'm in a, it's it's maybe old news in some regards, but when 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 you look at uh, uh, like we have a phrase at the firehouse, like we say, um, my weapon of choice is my microphone, or my weapon of choice is my paintbrush, or, my weapon of choice is my camera. Like when you look at the weapons of choice to be able to impact this generation uh, in a way that's relevant, <clears throat> sometimes those those weapons are far and few between, right? Because they're going to be all, all on one side with this evangelical uh, script. Right. Um, and, and, and and then on the other side, they may not say anything about uh, about God in some in some ways. And so it's just being able to have um, where you guys are at and talking through this, just the depth of understanding that spot. You know, when we come back, man, church on the block, when we come back, we're going to talk through uh, some other history, but also some challenges that you uh, with 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 your lineage and history and legendary uh, uh, context want to, to to spit to these other cats rhyming male female what 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 nudges you want to give them in that, in that space yo we'll be right back church on the block